The vision for our TCC project is to really center community, uh, the needs of our communities. In preparation for the implementation grant, EHC took a very, very robust approach to engaging with community. We surveyed uh, community members through um, online petitions, door-to-door -door knocking, to really understand what the community wanted um, and ensure that that was the heart of our application. Uh, in terms of like economic development and even uh, climate resiliency. But we do have one of the most polluted neighborhoods uh, in all of California. So ensuring that you know we have a safe space and a clean space for our children to grow up and to also bring in um, opportunities for our community members to work in the community that they live in. We've been coming together for years now as different orgs as different partners and talking about what we want to see. And we know that we were terrified of gentrification, of losing the culture that we've worked so hard to really root and, and help flourish the art district. The intent of the grant is to connect community with one another and with decision makers and with power players. I mean, we had folks that have been working at the grassroots level for years, doing work out of their own pocket, come and sit at a table with MTS with the city of San Diego, um, with the Air Pollution Control District, um, with the San Diego Foundation. And that interface, that exchange would have never happened without saying the community gets to lead this grant. So California has so many different climate programs, but what makes TCC unique is three main things. First of all, it's a very place-based program. So that means it's at the neighborhood scale and it's, it requires community members to work very collaboratively with local government partners that they can co-create a vision, but one that's really rooted in like what a community wants to see in their neighborhood. Second, it allows for multiple pollution reducing strategies that come together in the same program. So communities don't have to apply for several different grants, but can really get access to housing transportation and energy services and programs within the same grant program. And third, it requires what are called transformative elements. And this is really unique to TCC and something that we haven't seen done in so many other grant programs that are available. Usually climate grant programs are funding the projects themselves, but aren't necessarily thinking about all of the other pieces required to make sure those projects are equitable and that they stay in the community for the long term. It's also very empowering to work in a community that, you know, fights for what they believe is real. Um, so the fight continues and as long as community is willing to fight, we're gonna fight alongside community.